Well, well, guys. Well, welcome back again to Engineer Tina Academy. And on today's tutorial, we are going to look at how to prepare a payment certificate, a payment, a payment, an interim payment certificate. My name is Christine, and welcome back to our channel. We use an interim payment certificate in construction when we want to pay a contractor amount that he has been able to work for in stages or at intervals it can be periodical or after a certain stage as or milestone of construction has been achieved so we are going to use a data that we've been provided for us to be able to see how we are going to prepare that interim certificate so if you are new to this channel guys don't forget to subscribe here like and leave a comment you've been so helpful in fact we are growing so kindly just press that subscription button so that when i when i upload a new video you can be notified we have we have an, an we have a data here that we've been given actually this is our next question we have a data here that we want to use to prepare an interim certificate so we've been given the items the operations amount percentage completion and this is what that is this is what is going to guide us on to preparing that interim interim certificate and then remember we are preparing an interim certificate number number five because the they have been payment for number one number two number three and number and number four so whatever we are preparing is is number five so stay tuned stay with me here until the end so guys this is our excel sheet and i want us to prepare this interim payment certificate using this excel sheet so from our question that we had you can see this is what we had operation that is items we had excavation amount in the bq percentage completion foundation that is 650 percentage completion is 90 adequate and oversight concrete is 420 percentage completion is 75 walling 575,000 percentage completion is 40, roof work 950,000 percentage is 10, finishes is, this is 120,000, that is 5%, openings 550,000, 25%, fittings 350, 10 percent and then we have other, that is preliminaries, and then we have the subcontractors works, and then we have retention money 10 percent, then we have material on site is 150,000. Then we have the previous payment certificate. We've been given the previous payment certificate, meaning this is not our certificate number one. The contractor has been paid certificate number one, certificate number two, certificate number three, and certificate number number four. So we are preparing actually certificate number number five. So this is sorry, this is certificate number number five. So we tabulate the information that we have here in this our table. So I've already tabulated the information. As you can see, we have item number, description, amount, BQ amount, and then percentage completion. I've tabulated all the items up to I've included material on site. And then if you look at the material on site is 150,000, but you've not been given a percentage. So as a QS, when you go to the, to the field, you'll have to ensure that the material on site is, 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 is to a certain percentage. So in this case, I've assumed the material on site to be 95%. And then retention money is 10%. Now let, we are going to tabulate that one. Let's tabulate this one. So amount in the BQ for excavation is 4 hundred thousand percentage completion is four is hundred meaning what you're going to pay the contractor is is the entire amount that is four hundred thousand that is we take the percentage completion hundred we divide by hundred and then you multiply by the amount in the bq let's look at foundation we have 90 90 so tabulating it will be 90 over 100 we multiply the amount in the bq so let's just formulate that one and then we go to the oversight and the article we have amount in the BQ is 420 percentage is 75 so it's 75 over 100 times this amount so that one is going to give us that one and then 
we are going to okay this one is we match that one sorry yeah and then let's proceed to this one so tabulating that one we are going to get that is our amount that is the amount so we we autofill we autofill that calculation yeah up to that extent so that is what that is what we have <coughs> now let's find the total the total gross value the total gross value so we need to add all these amount that is due to the contractor so we are going to add that one so it will be is equals to sum sum of this one from there up to down there sorry going to be equals to sum of that one and then up to down 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 there and then we close the bracket so that is the gross amount that is that is due and then we are going to less 10 percent retention so 10 percent retention is 10 percent of of this one so we are going to less 10 percent of this one so 10 percent of that one will be 277 five zero zero yeah that is 10 percent of that one so we subtract that one when you subtract that, we are going to get, let's subtract that one. So we are subtracting the, the gross value from the money that we are going to retain. Yeah, that one, that's what we get. So once we retain, this is what the contractor is supposed to be, supposed to get. But the contract has been paid first certificate, second, third, and fourth. So let's get the total, the total amount of this certificate, the total amount of that certificate, of those certificates that have already been paid to the contractor. So this is what the contract has been paid. Now, what we are going to pay the contractor is the gross value after retention. We subtract what as what he has been paid in the previous certificate. So the amount that is due for payment will be we subtract the gross the gross value after retention. The gross value after retention. So we are going to subtract that one. subtract this one from from the previous certificate that he has been paid that one and then we get what is supposed to be paid so the amount that the contractor is to be paid for the for the for the fifth certificate is 847500 so we are supposed to So we are supposed to write this one in words. So we are going to write that one in words. That is eight eight hundred and forty and forty seven thousand and Five, five hundred, five hundred shillings only. So you must include only, so that whoever comes before you does not come and and put in some 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 coins there. So this certificate must have must have the signature so you are going to allow where the where there is going to be signing that is for the client so let the client sign the client sign there and then let also the contractor sign the contractor to also sign and also the maybe the architect can also can also sign so the sign should go hand in hand with the 
with the date so make provision for the date and then for the for the date so guys that is how you prepare your your interim payment certificate yeah it's very easy it's not that complicated so they are going to sign so we, i think we can leave some you can leave this one so that they can sign and let's leave this one for signing so here we have the dates so once they do the dates they can now do the the dates here so that's how we prepare our interim certificate kindly if you are new here don't forget to subscribe until next time bye bye